ladies and gentlemen, I'm hoping you're all enjoying this Beach Brawl event so far. We've had four epic matches so far. And, you know, as you just saw on the Tron, we are but 162 days away from the biggest event in Second Life Professional Wrestling History, Wrestle Series 10. Ten years of just greatness, all celebrated on one night. As much as much as I'd love to talk about how tonight we're going to see great matches yet to come, such as the Women's World Championship match with Alison Danes and Marionetta, and the World Title Iron Man match with the current Dark Watch and Benja Nirvana. I'm out here for business reasons only. So let's. Let's get down to business. See, Wrestle Series 10, first off, let me just point out something. Everything you see around here, none of this would be possible without Stuart Wolf, the chairman that saved VWE. And I'm sick and tired of letting someone else ruin everything I have worked for. So frankly, right now, I would like to call out my apparent CEO of VWE, Seth Cameron. Yeah, I don't think this is wise, man. Oh, <laughs> Austin, what do you think about this? He knows what he's doing. I hope so, man. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Well, there's well, there's been years of bad blood between Stuart Wharf and Seth Cameron. So uh, it'll be fine. Oh, they meant us. It'll be fine. Who knows what he's doing? I hope so, man. But uh, he came off a little bit cocky there. You, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he wasn't wrong. Cut the music! What is it, Stu? Oh, come on, you can give me a little bit more respect than that. Okay, fine. What is it, Stuart Worf? Get on with it already! We have a show to go on with! The show can wait because this this is important, and I think you're going to want to listen to every single word that comes out of my mouth. See, Seth, last time me and you were in this ring or near this ring, I should say, was Wrestle Series Nine, when you so helpfully announced that you are now the CEO of VWE. And hey, let's take a look at everything you've done in the last six months since being fully in your position. You know, let's take a look at the complete backstage fiascos that had to take place ever since you took reins here. You know, we've lost some of our biggest stars 
people like Braden who ended up having a contract that fired him under very much dubious pretenses. And you know, I'm getting sick and tired of seeing you destroy everything I've built. That you've built. Yes. You've built. Yes. Ha. <laughs> you know something, Stu? You're funny because you take credit for what everyone else here has done for this place. For nine years, there has been far too many people that have stepped foot here from superstars, legends, bombshells, women's wrestlers, whatever you want to call them. The backstage production teams that have been through for nine years that have ran this place and no, kept no, no, this no, no, place no, 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 Cut the crap, Seth. Cut the whole little, oh, look at everything that's come up to this. It takes one person to lead VWE. And frankly, you being a supposed leader of CEO, let's be honest, it hasn't worked a damn bit. Because frankly, you're a lunatic and you always have been. I'm kind of sick and tired of seeing you come around shaking, you know, this whole power play that you have with these ill-fitting suits. And, you know, I think, you know, this, whoa, whoa, whoa. this hold isn't... On, hold on, you want You want to sit here and talk about power play, talking about abusing your power? How about we look at the last few years of you oh, backstage, huh? Let's take a look at all of the individuals in the back that haven't even gotten a chance because of the way that you handle the show. <laughs> when I came in, a lot of those guys thought it was a blessing because here I am coming in giving them an actual opportunity. You know, you can spin it how you want, but let me tell you something that happened earlier this week, Seth. See, I had a meeting with the board of directors, you know, the same beloved crew that uh, appointed you as CEO, and frankly, um, we had a meeting about the actions of this supposed benevolent CEO who's been, uh, you know, making things better. <laughs> See, Seth, all the actions you've committed over the past few weeks, they haven't gone unnoticed. From the whole all-or-nothing contract debacle, to you getting your hands on wrestlers, to even attacking a poor, innocent referee. These are not the actions, Seth, of someone who is fit to lead this place? No. These are the actions of someone who is an out of control lunatic who doesn't even belong near these four corners. And frankly, you don't really care, Seth. You never care. You only care about one person, and that's yourself, because you're a selfish, egomaniacal son of a bitch. And frankly, I've waited six months to do what I'm about to tell you. See, see this little, little piece of paper in my hand here. This is a mandate delivered by the board of directors from me. And don't, don't worry, this isn't some other like contract that's been revealed at Beach for before where you made yourself be the center of the show again. Because, you know, it's all about Seth Cameron. No, this is an official communique, Seth Cameron, that effective immediately, you are terminated as the CEO of VWE. And I've waited a long time to say this, but Seth Cameron, you're fired! Now, turn around. I'm sure security will escort you to the back. Get the hell out of my ring. All right. 
No, you know what? It's fine. All right. Uh, can I just say one last thing? Then you, you know. You, I have to one last cheer. Guys, give him a cheer. Just it's Seth thing. Cameron. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm asking. I just want to say one last thing. You might have been waiting six months for something, but I've been waiting eight years to do. Uh, oh! oh! What the hell? He just nailed Sue! With the microphone at that! Well, I mean, you look at it as, in order to keep his job, he can light, keep his hands off him, but Stu, ah, he's fine! No, oh, no, he's not, no, 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 he's not fine. Uh, Stu is not fine. Stu is not fine at all. <laughs> Do your job. Save your boss. Oh, my God. Oh, dear God. Stu save your boss. <laughs> That, this is this is bad. Oh god! Oh, oh my god! That's the elimination. Die! Oh my what? god! Ah! Hey, we need to get medical attention out here, stat. Super Warp ain't no wrestler and. Yeah, we need to get back on touch out here right now. Well, he's no longer CEO. He's been fired. Stu should have thought this would happen. You know, once they remove him from power, he's obviously going to attack. But you know what? You know what I'm saying about Stu? He's fine. No, hey, he's not fine. Maybe Stu thought he the fucking Seth had enough integrity to just walk away like a professional. That he claims he is. Now, but would you have done the same thing? Would you have just walked away after being fired? You had the chance to take a shot at your boss that, or your former boss? I think everybody in, Stu, in uh, Seth's position would have done the uh, same. Hold, hold, hold up. I think we really need to check out Stu, man. He ain't moving. Yo, That's hold, Casey's yo, hold job. Up. Yeah, well, she's doing a bad enough job right now. We need to get Louis somewhere out here now. Ah, he's fine. Yeah, thank you. Literally just got fucking jackknife to health. <laughs> See, look, he's getting up. He's fine. No, he's not. He's not. He's not fine. <laughs> he's not fine. I mean, he had poor balance to you know in the beginning. Yeah, no, he's not fine. <laughs> oh, come on, Casey, do something right for once. <laughs> 